Okay, so what we're going to try to do in this video is implement the cost function for li uh, linear regression, which is this formula right here. Uh, and so it uses the hypothesis, which is this formula, theta transpose x. And this formula is dependent upon the dimensions of theta and x. So in our case, it might look differently than this formula here. So if we move to MATLAB, and we go to the compute cost. What we're first going to do is uh, just check the dimensions of, of our x and our theta. We can write x size and our theta size. And we can also print our x and our theta. And so we run this. And so here I've actually uh, out commented this part of the code because this is for gradient descent, which we haven't implemented yet. So if we run just this part, which uses our cost function or our compute cost function, we see that uh, our x size is of dimensions 97 by 2 and our theta is a 2 by 1 vector. So Theta transpose x is not going to work in this case. So what we want is that our theta 0 here to be multiplicated by our interceptor term x0, which is just uh, equal to 1, and our theta 1 to be multiplicated by our x1. And how we can do that in this case is by taking x times theta. And we can see that we can do that because we can take 90, uh, this is a 97 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 1. So these 2's are going to cancel out. And we're going to get our hypothesis as a 97 by 1. So if we try to take x times theta and set that as our hypothesis, and we can also check the size of h, which should be a 97 by 1. So that's good. And so we seem to have implemented that correctly. And so the next step is to take, after we've implemented the hypothesis, is to take h minus y. And you can implement this in a for loop too. Uh, and and uh, but we're going to do in a, in a vectorized code in this example. So first we have to check that h and y is of the same dimensions to be able to subtract them. So what we can do is check size h, size y, and we see that they're both nine, a 97 by 1. So that means that we can just take h minus y, which is going to take our, our first value of h minus our first value of y, and uh, the second value of h minus the second value of y, and so on. Uh, and then we're going to take all of this and take it raised to 2. And notice here that this is a element-wise power. So for MATLAB, that's dot raised to. And after that, we're going to take the sum, sum of that, which is going to sum that 97 by 1 vector into a 1 by 1. And then take that times 1 over 2 times m. And then that's going to be our cost cost value. So we can clean this up a little bit and then check if, okay, so it seems like we're missing a parenthesis. Okay. And there we see to have get 
gotten the right values. So thank you for watching.